I'm going to demonstrate the auto stabilization capabilities of the Wukong scale. First up is a maxi joker that I've installed the Wukong into as my first test bed to learn how to get this going. After this, I will go ahead and take out the electronics and stick it into a scale helicopter and I'll demonstrate similar maneuvers. So for now, we have a standard pot and boom machine with a fly barred head. And what I'm going to do is uh, take off with the helicopter. I will enable the auto stabilization mode and we'll then bring the helicopter to altitude by raising the collective stick. I'll bring it back to center once I get the altitude that I want and it will then sit there and I'll show the helicopter um, able to hover and maintain position beautifully uh, without me touching the sticks at all. In fact, it does a far better job of hovering than I possibly can. Uh, let me just show you the equipment. So, up front, we have, uh, you can see the receiver on top and the Wukong central processing unit is below. We have this box over here is the inertial measurement sensor. Uh, it has all the gyros in it. And back here is a GPS antenna receiver, and the GPS is used to help the autopilot maintain its positional accuracy. Without that, it would simply be able to maintain level, but it wouldn't be able to stay in any particular location on the, on the globe. Um, you can see that the radio receiver is connected to the Wukong CPU. All of the outputs from the receiver are fed into the Wukong device, and the Wukong is what drives all of the servos. Uh, very standard uh, wiring uh, relative to all the other fly controllers that we're used to. So again, for the purposes of this test, you're just gonna see how stable the Wukong scale can actually make the helicopter in flight and hover. And the idea, of course, is to stick this in a scale helicopter, so that'll be forthcoming. All right, so I'm gonna stop the camera. Once I get it up into a hover and stabilized, I'll go ahead and turn the camera back on. So stay tuned. Okay, right now, the Wukong is auto-stabilizing the Maxi Joker. And you can take a look and see I am not touching my sticks at all. All right and back to the helicopter. And we'll just keep it here for a moment and you can notice that it maintains its position. It does a real nice job of hovering in place. In fact, let's do a pirouette right here just so you can see. Now how many of us can pirouette in place that beautifully without bobbling the helicopter? Pretty nice, right? All right, so now back. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and increase the collective stick, which is gonna raise the altitude of the helicopter. And then when I've got up to a good altitude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the collective stick back to center. So let's watch what it does. All right, how's that? All right, so now we are hovering beautifully. And maybe what I'll do is walk around so you can get a different perspective of the helicopter. While I'm doing that, let me show you the radio again. So I am not putting my hands on the sticks. And uh, I'll show you the helicopter again. And here's the helicopter. Seems pretty happy. All right, what I'm going to do is walk around so that we can get a different perspective on the helicopter. Again, my hands are not on the sticks at this time. It is simply maintaining what it's doing all on its own. Here, now we've got some trees in the background as a reference point. So that probably makes it a little bit easier to see that the helicopter is just sitting there and not moving. Um, there isn't a huge breeze at the moment. It's pretty tiny. And back to the sticks again. Show you that we're not touching anything here. All right. Good. And uh, helicopter is back where it was. All right. Now we can go ahead and yaw the helicopter. Now we got some nice nose in hovering. We'll do another 90 degree turn. Very nice. Let it sit there. 
Got a minor, um, minor move in the aileron axis and it's drifting back to its center, which is nice. Okay, let's do another 90 degree turn. Very good. Notice that the altitude is still holding rock steady. The helicopter hover is just amazingly stable. Let's nose in it again. Very nice. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna give it a uh, cyclic command to move it forward a little bit. Let's see what it does. What it should do is move forward at the rate that I tell it to based on how much I move the stick. So here's some forward cyclic. And now I'm gonna pull back on the stick, let it go. And the helicopter stopped, as you saw. I'm gonna walk backwards a little bit now. I'm gonna try to keep the helicopter in view. I'll stop for a moment. Hopefully you can see that the helicopter is just sitting there beautifully. Let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Very nice. And you can see it against the clouds. You can probably see things just are not moving all that much. All right, so I'm gonna step back a little bit more. All right, and now let's yaw the helicopter around. All right, let's lower the altitude a little bit now. So I'm gonna lower the collective stick just a little bit and it's gonna start to come down. And when I get to an altitude that I'm comfortable with, I'll bring it back to center. How about there? All right, very good. And now let's fly the helicopter toward me a little bit. So I'm gonna give it forward cyclic. I got a little bit of drift. And now it's gonna correct itself. And now it's back to where it was. Let's give it a little left cyclic. All right. And now let's bring it closer to me. Let's just watch it settle into a hover. This is my third flight with the Wukong and I've just started to make flight adjustments. This is what it does out of the box. I've tweaked the gains for auto hovering just by 10% in each axis to try to lock in even more. Doing really quite well. Um, I'll probably tweak it just a little bit more, but if you look at that, you'll see it's really just sitting there beautifully now. So now let's go take a look at the transmitter. Let's just see how much time we have left on these batteries. We got two minutes and 44 seconds, and the helicopter is still very happily hovering. All right, okay. And now we'll yaw it again. Now, before we get too far, how many of us could actually film such a video by ourselves while flying the helicopter? It, it hasn't dawned on you. I'm holding the camera with my right hand, and when I yaw it, obviously I'm using the left, but that's all the input I'm giving the helicopter. Obviously, this wouldn't be too easy if I was trying to manipulate the cyclic sticks. All right, I think this is the end of this video. I'll go ahead and cover out the rest of these batteries. I'm gonna land. And in the next video you see, this is gonna be in a scale helicopter. So, 
stay tuned.